So I get a little sidetracked when I'm doing stuff, but so I got this uh, this window's all cleaned out and everything. Um, and then I just started uh, noticing that the trim on this car was just really dry. And so what I do is I take some lacquer, lacquer thinner, put a little bit on a rag and then rub it on there. A lot of that wax a polishing compound gets on this black trim and you can't get it off. This takes off a little, just a tiny little layer of the, uh, of the rubber. And then I apply pretty much 100% silicone from, uh, from Mother's. You can see like kind of uneven little white spots on here. This car was left outside. It lived outside, so a lot of these seals are, they're starting to dry up. So with uh, this stuff right here, it's a silicon. It's really uh, real thick. I don't like putting it on my tires because it's it's just too uh, not greasy, but just it's, it's just so thick. Uh, I just put a little bit on there. If I can do this one-handed. Just put it on. It kind of brings it. It brings it back. It kind of gets rid of that white stuff too. And it stays on there for a long time. Do this three or four times in the, in the next six months when I wash it, and it'll it'll bring this back because it's silicone. Looks so much better. Not perfect, but better than before. Gets rid of that. It gets rid of those white marks that wax leaves. That you just cannot get off. I'm sure there's other methods you can you can use, but there. Slowly bringing it back. Also, also did uh, did this thing right here. It was pretty dried out too. The door the inside's pretty nice though. Anyways, on to another door. So I got all four doors and windows thoroughly cleaned. The installer will clean them again. So should be should come out pretty good. Now the uh, the last window is that one there, and I have to take off that third brake light. I tried it about five minutes ago. Now the clouds are coming, but I had the car pointed the other direction. And that, man, that was just so hot. I couldn't even hold it in the windshield. That glass was so hot. So turn it around and let it cool off a little bit. And I'll see if I can pull it off. Hopefully it doesn't break. Yeah, yeah, I can't get this thing off. Um, I mean, I pulled on it really hard. Just grab both sides and pull straight down. There's there's four little tabs that pull out. It's kind of spring-loaded thing. I'm sure it'll come out, and I think the entire light comes out with it. But actually, I can get my fingers back through here to clean it. And I'm sure the installer will be able to get the film up there and with his squeegee things be able to seal it off. I tried. I'll show you the diagram of what it looks like in case anybody's trying this. Yeah, you can see it's uh, right here. I believe that, that whole thing comes off.
see it. There's a one, two, three, four, and it just says uh, grasp the sides, pull firmly downward to disengage snaps from a roof. and disconnect the electrical connector, which is up here. But I'm just gonna leave it at is, as is, uh, you know, it's 15 years old, it works, it's plastic. With my luck, I'll break it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna clean the window as best I can and then bring it up, bring it over there. Right, there it goes. It's, it's off to get tinted. For the front and that's for the rear so it's 20 35 percent that's the cheap stuff That's the most expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, here I am waiting between two and four hours. Kind of boring. I got the freeway to look at. That's the 15 freeway on the right. It goes to uh, San Diego. And on the left, it'll take you to Corona, California, Lake Elsinore, Corona. Uh, eventually, you can get to Anaheim. And then on your way to Los Angeles, it's about 90 miles. Um, and here's where I'm at, right here. And you look around, uh, most cars are tinted here because of the heat. Here comes a nice SL. Modern one, mine's old. I was thinking of maybe walking to McDonald's, but then I remembered you could only drive through. Right there. As far as the pandemic here, we're in the red tier as of uh, yesterday. So they're starting to open things up, uh, limited capacity, all that stuff. Anyways, um, I, think I got another hour to go, hopefully. <laughs> hey, okay, so um, one thing uh, that I did before all this uh, tinting is um, I clean the channel the channel that's right here on the inside where the glass is going to hit it just run your finger in there make sure there isn't any uh, any dirt any uh, little little rocks or anything in there because when the window goes up and down it'll scratch the tint so um, I did that to all four windows um, then I also cleaned, you know, all the, all the windows. Um, I had another video, but for some reason my, uh, my PC won't upload, uh, a certain one video, one beginning video out of all the ones that I put together. Drives me crazy. A little paint missing there, huh? Okay, so uh, yeah, make sure to clean those tracks on all four windows. Uh, I also took an air compressor and I, I blew it out all four 
uh, doors, all the weather strip along there. Um, and then the back window, I cleaned that um, and blew all the dust. I opened all four doors and just blew all the dust out of the car, just so that when the guys, I put window tint in before, and if you have any little speck of dust on there, you'll have a problem with the tent. Okay. All right, next day I've got, uh, got it home and it's all tinted. Had to wait there uh, ooh, over three hours in the waiting room. I didn't have a ride home, so that was fun. Anyway, so here we are. Um, this is a 3M ceramic tint. It's, I believe, the CS line. Um, it's $358 out the door. The front is 35%. The rear is 20%. So you can see how it's clear right there. Um, yeah, but it came out uh, came out pretty nice. Check that out, huh? That is nice and nice and dark. It repels. Um, I think it's fifty-one or fifty-seven percent of the. The heat, 99% of UV rays. Let's see what it looks like uh, inside. It's a nice sunny day. Oh yeah. It's looking pretty decent. You can see, uh, let's see if we can. So you can see the difference there. Yeah. This could be nice during the summertime. It's going to protect the, uh, Check the um, upholstery. So yeah, it's a lot less cooler here. Before it, this thing was like red hot without this tent. Window's still warm. Um, what else? I cannot roll the windows down for three to five days, they said, so. I'm not going to drive the car for a while. I'll drive the minivan. I've got some projects around the yard. I got to use the minivan to haul stuff. And they put a sticker right there. Um, they told me not to uh, use any um, ammonia based products like Windex or any of that kind of stuff to clean the windows in the future. Um, I told them that I just use, um, to clean the inside of the windows, I just use uh, like a cotton wash rag or washcloth and just a dish towel that's cotton in it and uh, a little bit of a dish soap in a bucket of water and that removes all the grease and they said well that's what we use here to clean the windows before the, putting the tent because it's the only thing that takes off that i don't know if you've ever seen like uh try to get that greasy film that's on the inside of the windshield and nothing takes it off i mean they've got products out there but i tried all these different methods from youtube videos and nothing was taking it off and what happens it's called off gassing and um, the plastics, after a while, they just release this, this stuff, it's off-gassing, and it gets on your windshield, and you're just rubbing this nasty film around, and, and um, just water, and like some uh, Dawn dish soap. So that's what I do to all my windows when I clean them. I don't buy any more of that uh, Windex stuff. It's just frustrating. I mean, it works on the outside, but um, for the 
for this on all my cars and that works really good anyways um so yeah ceramic tint is the way to go they have cheaper ones they had a, a cheaper one i think it was 249 um it was a dyed dyed tint and it, it doesn't last as long it can have issues then the step above this one was the crystalline and it repels god i forget uh I think it repels like 90% of the heat coming through the window, you know. Um, but it was uh, somewhere around $700. I just, you know, didn't want to pay that. They also offered to uh, tint the front windshield with this clear film that repels um, all the heat, like 90% of the heat that hits your dashboard. I said, no, you know, I mean, not right now. Um, I've got the sunshades I can put in there, but um, it would be nice to have that. But the only thing is, is, you know, you're going to put a plastic film on your windshield. You know, five years down the road, you're going to have possible distortions of view. I just get, you know, glass. So one more thing is, um, see, that's a uh, 35%. So... It, you can really see outside from the in, uh, from standing outside it looks pretty darn dark but in California where I'm at um, the law is to have uh, I think it's uh, 70 percent so when you think about it 70 percent is is like the lightest that's allowed or the darkest that's allowed <laughs> limo tint is five percent all right that's like black um, but I put 35% uh, I asked him I go what do most people use you know he showed me the 70% film and it, I was like really and he said most people just do 35 in the front and 20 in the rear and I go I've never been stopped for window tint I've got window tint on pretty much all, all my cars I've got the, uh, you know find out oh great so darn it okay so i'm locked i've locked myself <laughs> i've locked myself into the damn back the doors won't open so but you know what there you go good thing i had the keys god can you imagine the climb over the why is that not opening oh now well, that's kind of ridiculous Really weird. Is this door open? That door opens. That is really weird. Okay. I'm not having a good day. <laughs> this door opens. I don't know why that door won't open. I'll have to figure that out later. Okay, I'm finally out. I'm a pretty big guy. I'm like 6'3", 200 pounds, so it's a struggle getting out of back seats. Oh, so it's not completely closed. Oh, weird. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. Anyways, uh, I'm done with this project. Next, next project will be uh, putting a rear view camera in on this thing. And I have to uh, test. I want to see if these are even working. Last night when I put it in reverse, I didn't really see any light coming back here. I don't know if it's because of the tent, whatever, but didn't really light it up. I want to make sure those bulbs are not out, but that's where camera will be. Anyways, this is John, and um, I am ready for summer. <laughs>